two buildings. The UNAC rider vehicle. As the UNAC rider is the first track, let's have a look at its off its vertical obstacle crossing capabilities first of all. See no problem at all for the rider to um, cover the vertical obstacles. And now it's, let's have a look as the rider makes its way onto the track. Have a look at its off-road capabilities. Its off-road capabilities enable to negotiate gradients of up to 60%. And it can cross slopes of up to 30%. And its architecture allows it to negotiate fords of up to 80 centimeters. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the vehicle that we can see from Technam today is the Fennec. Now the Fennec from Technam is a vehicle based on the world famous Suzuki Jimmy chassis. As you can see, the quick intervention vehicle or reconnaissance vehicle and the Fennec allies discreetness as well as astonishing speed and a rather steep hill. Gently does it. <laughs> Okay, no problem at all for the finish. And the easy maintenance. Now, Technam transforms the 4x4 vehicle into a 6x6 vehicle, adding a powered axle, and all three axles having differential locks. Let's have a look at the Technam negotiate a steep hill for you, Nate. It's rather impressive, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, so, so no problem at all for the Fortress Mark II as it makes its way down the slope and over the vertical obstacles. Now, ah uh, yes, we're going to see now as it heads onto the concrete blocks, uh, its side slope capabilities. Now it can cross side slopes of up to 30% and also cross fords of up to one meter deep. It's an articulated tracked carrier which is from minus 46 to plus 49 degrees Celsius. Bronco at a top speed of 65 kilometers per hour and a range of 500 kilometers for its fuel autonomy. And it can overcome vertical obstacles of 0.7 meters. Okay, that's rather impressive. No problem at all for the Bronco. Now, as the uh, Bronco makes its way onto the terrain in front of us, I've got the other tracks. Now, you might have noticed that the Bronco 3 is very quiet. Bravo, Bronco. <laughs> and also a very agile carriers, as we're seeing now before us from the KNDS, the CGRM vehicle. M01 decontamination system has an innovative and optimized architecture integrated into this high mobility carrier, defining new standards of compactness, simplicity, and implementation. Handling ergonomics of use, and this results in time savings for the operator. So the decontamination operation is coming to an end. And now the Fortress Mark II can make its way back to the combat zone as quickly as possible. Integrate these rioters. And they're aboard the Centurion D14 from Esson Security, which is part of the Armoric Holding Group.
Pyrotechnic solutions to intervene in difficult to access areas with steep slopes with greater efficiency while saving water, of course. The fire engine is six minutes. Now, the Renault truck's chassis is equipped with a ZF brand automatic transmission programmed by Volvo, giving it excellent off road support of equipment or people up to 200 kilograms. Now its 90 centimeter wheelbase is ideal for traveling through very narrow passages as we've just seen. The concrete blocks. We're going to have a look at one of its main features which is its ability to maintain the platform level despite uh, going over obstacles or going over gaps. As you can see, the platform is remaining perfectly level, which is obviously fundamental for carrying, uh, for example, an injured soldier. Now, uh, the uh, few words about the artist from Rheinmetall. As you can see now, the Caracol Air Assault Vehicle is being fueled up. Have a look on the screen. Now the fuel is in fact not fossil diesel, but a synthetic diesel uh, in accordance with the European fuel norms. Now if you keep your eye on the screen, if you keep your eyes on the screen, ladies and gentlemen, you might be able to see uh, just how clear this synthetic fuel from Rheinmetall is. A whole, more, whole lot more difficult to attack. And due to the moderate plant sizes, the technology can be scaled up quickly by replicating a tested prototype system. Together with its technology partner, Inneratec, Rheinmetall is providing us with a solution to an urgent problem. And that, ladies and gentlemen, followed closely behind by the Centurion, but from the CCFHP fire engine from CIDES. Just waiting on the left hand side, we're waiting for the uh, Maztec T6 vehicle from Tecna and also the Centurion vehicle from Esson Security uh, coming onto the terrain. Don't forget also Hello. to have a look at the Vita Green tent, which you can see uh, at the back there. And I'd like